Welcome to a new flight report on my channel. Today's trip takes me from Vienna to Los Angeles in business class with Austrian Airlines. I am excited to explore the seat as well as the service of the airline which is often called the best carrier of the Lufthansa Group. Explore with me every detail of this 12-hour business class flight and enjoy my video. It's early morning here in Vienna as I check in at the premium counters of Austrian Airlines for this 12-hour flight. After using the fast lane at the security, I am quickly in front of the business class lounge in Terminal G. This lounge is dedicated to all international departures as you see there are tons of table groups, but for my opinion, sofas or lounge chairs are missing. The food offer of the lounge isn't very comprehensive, but it's sufficient to start the day with a small breakfast and a very good Austrian coffee. After some plane spotting I leave the lounge as the boarding starts soon. On my way to gate G11 I walk through the huge duty-free area and need to pass another quick document check. After that, I am ready to fly to the United States. Besides I wanted to fly Austrian Airlines, there is also another reason, why I have chosen this flight. You might saw on the screen, that the Austrian flight departs pretty early at 9.55. All other flights for example with Lufthansa or Swiss depart somehow later during the day. So this flight here is the earliest option to get to California. Here we are at my seat. The Austrian business class offers single, as well as double seats at the windows. The space here is fantastic to stretch out later. At every seat there wait a large pillow and a blanket. Near the universal and USB power outlets is the location of the amenity kit. Here we have the noise-canceling headphones, and a coat hook. I do not wait for long as the cabin attendant introduces himself and offers warm nuts and a welcome drink. He also hands out the menu for today's flight. I can choose between three starters, three main courses, and four dessert options. Additionally, a soup, as well as a cheese plate will be served. The menu also includes digestives, small in-flight snacks as well as a pre-arrival snack. Okay. 
One thing Austrian Airlines is famous for is the wide variety of coffee specialties, which are also complimentary in business class. So, I am really looking forward to the service during the next 12 hours. After takeoff, we leave Vienna in northeast direction towards Prague and further towards Germany. Not much time passes before the crew hands out hot refreshment towels. As it probably won't be long before the service starts, let's take a look at the table. It's stored in the middle console and can be folded and rotated to leave the seat. The amenity kit comes in this fabric pouch. Therein you find socks, an eye shade, a toothbrush and toothpaste, earplugs, and a lip balm of Wunderkind. When passing northern Germany, the first round of drinks is served. As it's still early morning, I decide myself for a non-alcoholic beer from Austria and a water. Besides the drinks, I get a small delicious canopy in a grain bread roll with olive oil, butter, as well as salt and pepper. The first course of the lunch is this delicious smoked salmon tartar on greens. Shortly after the appetizer, a caramelized pea soup is served, which is really fantastic. Did you ever had a soup on a plane? I did not. Now it's time for the main course. In my case, pineapple chicken with rice and broccolini. Also very nice. The dessert is directly served from the service trolley. And how could it be otherwise on an Austrian flight? I decide myself for the traditional Austrian sacker cake. After the service, everybody in the business cabin seems to be happy and the crew finally hands out a water bottle.
To not get bored during the next 9 hours, I engage myself now with the in-flight entertainment system. This includes several music albums, podcasts, and audiobooks. I prefer to watch a movie, of which there are over 200 of, in different categories. Also lots of TV series are available in here. But before I can start with the movie, let's turn my seat into the bed position. And as you see, many people in the cabin do the same. At some point during the movie, I fell asleep for several hours. As I wake up again, I find this nice chocolate at my seat. During my rest, we made lots of our way all across Canada and are soon flying over Vancouver, where I spent my holiday last year. This area is completely awesome. The flight attendant offers me a so-called detox wonder. This consists of apples, carrots, and ginger and wakes me up within one second. After that it's time for the pre-arrival snack. Here we have a ham and cheese salad with a thousand island dressing. And again a grain bread roll and an Austrian apple strudel. Also I decide myself for an Austrian classic drink, the herb lemonade Elm Dudler. There is only one thing today, I have to criticize. At this point of the flight, it's not longer possible to order one of Austrian's coffee specialties with cream, ice or Baileys, which are advertised in the menu. So I just get a normal coffee. I know this is complaining on a very high level. I can understand that serving these specialties is not possible during the entire flight, but it would be nice if the crew would point this out early. But as you see, as this is the only thing I have to criticize, I am extremely happy with the flight for now. From now on, we only have one hour remaining flight time and now I would like to share my conclusion of today's flight with you. I am so impressed of the Austrian Airlines long haul business class. First of all, their Boeing 777 offers ideal seats for travelers of any occasions. If you travel as a couple, you can choose the two seaters to sit next to each other. If you are traveling solo, you can select the throne seats to have more privacy. From my point of view, the food service today was outstanding. Every course was extremely delicious. By the way, Austrian Airlines obtains their meals from Du & Co, who have a much better reputation as Lufthansa's Gate Gourmet has. I also had great and delicious flights with Lufthansa, but Austrian goes one big step further here. Also the cabin crew was very friendly and attentive. They asked for further food and drink wishes on and on. So if you have the chance to fly Austrian Airlines on long haul in business class, I just can highly recommend it. And in the near future Austrian updates its long haul fleet with the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and brand new destinations. So stay tuned. What is your opinion on Austrian Airlines and today's service? Please, write me in the comments.
the lock. Very relaxed and well rested I leave my seat here in LA. I am sure this wasn't my last Austrian flight. Please subscribe to my channel to avoid to miss further flight reports and also explore the other flight reports on my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.